Episode 6 of Fallout begins with Cooper Howard's advert for the vaults being played on a black and white background. Specifically, we're focusing on Vault 4 here. This place is entirely occupied by scientists and there'll be 80 in total, conducting a five-year trial. This is a hint of where Maximus and Lucy are being kept, but for now, we follow Cooper as he's living the high life and enjoying his role as the face of Vault Tech. Remember the voice of Snip Snip? Well, this belongs to none other than a guy called Bartholomew Codsworth. He's an old friend of Cooper and he sold his voice rights to make this happen. He points out that he ended the world as a product unto itself and they need to be ready to sell that. The war is coming though and Cooper is disillusioned to what's happening. He does see everyone around him start to believe in the vault and doing what they can to protect themselves. This includes Barb, his wife, who does what she can to get their family a place in one of the vaults. You see, Cooper went to war to defend freedom and believes the vaults with their conformity, blue jumpsuits, and rules that include things like no dogs are infringing upon that. Back in the future though, the ghoul finds himself caught at the hands of government agents who show up and take him to their boss. The bounty hunters bring the ghoul over to a guy called Sorrel. He's heard of the ghoul, of course, and as they sit together inside this bar, the ghoul is able to sew his finger back on again. They sit together and the ghoul brings up Moldava, who is apparently super dangerous. Sorrel is a self-proclaimed president here, and he makes a mistake of trusting the ghoul and telling his subordinates to put their guns away. Quick as a flash, the ghoul stands and kills them both. Now, up on the wall of the bar happens to be a wanted poster for none other than Moldava. It turns out Cooper actually recognizes her, which stems from flashbacks where he introduced herself as his his biggest fan. Meanwhile, Lucy and Maximus are kept in the vault and patched up. Apparently it will only be a few hours just so they know they don't have radiation. Lucy is naive about this and decides to hunker down, but nonchalantly asks Maximus if he wants to have sex. He declines and that's the end of that. Oh, However, as the camera pans out, we see that they're inside a room called Test Subjects. Lucy and Maximus then meet the Overseer, who clearly has his eye on them. However, it soon becomes clear that a good chunk of the residents inside this vault also appear to be some sort of hybrid humans. Lucy is pretty surprised by the vault and she speaks plainly to the overseer in his office. He mentions how they call the surface dwellers surfies and doesn't like conforming to their ideas. When Lucy brings up level 12, which the overseer earlier mentioned was off limits, he immediately tells her to leave after spitting his drink out. Maximus is also curious over what this vault may be holding and he discovers plenty of fusion cores power in the place. He's soon encouraged to head over to unit 428 for a hot shower and to in what the vault has to offer and he gladly obliges. There's a hamper there with plenty of standard fallout gear and items like sugar bombs that fans of the franchise will recognize. Meanwhile, Lucy stumbles upon a classroom and finds a model for Shady Sands. She actually finds a timeline written up on the chalkboard too and realizes that the vault has been taken over by the NCR, the new Californian Republic. The music crescendos here with the familiar motif and the fallout theme and it's a really nice moment overall. Of course, we're not about to play their music here because we'll end up getting copyright struck. Anyway, I digress. Lucy and the other vault dwellers are called over for a meeting, given there's a surface dweller tradition. This tradition includes everyone stripping down and worshiping the flame mother, including ritualistic chanting and covering themselves in the ashes of those taken from them. They also drink blood too. What the hell is even that? Getting nowhere with Maximus, Lucy heads up the floor 12 to prove that there's something amiss. Lucy is determined to smash his idealistic perception of this fall, which is very clearly not the utopia he expected. Unfortunately, when one of the scientists shows up, Lucy is outed and she struggles to fight her way out. Birdie, the leader here, manages to subdue Lucy, while Maximus is none the wiser in his room. And that is where episode six comes to an end. Thanks for watching and do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like or subscribe to the channel. Your support is very much appreciated. I'm Greg Wheeler and from all of us over here at The Review Geek, we'll see you on the next video.